Me and Charlie met probably when we were 14, 15 years old, something like, just kids. And, uh, you know, at that point, there was something unique about Charlie. I can still remember him as a junior. He was already going to SMS at the time, it was called, uh, for math classes because uh, they didn't have anything past, I think, trig or maybe calculus, whatever it was that they stopped in high school. As a junior, he was already going over to the college for his math classes, and that's when you knew. Later on, when he went to work at NASA, it's like, where else would a guy like that go to work at? Charlie is eager, he's intelligent, motivated, very easygoing. You would never know, meeting him on the street, that he works for NASA, that he's a physicist for NASA. He's just a regular guy. And then you start talking to him and you realize that you have this giant in front of you, this academic giant with incredible experiences and incredible history and knowledge. And it's so fun to have a conversation with him because it's just Charlie. And then when we would call each other occasionally, he would say, yeah, I was just over in Russia uh, drinking vodka with the generals, the guys who pushed the button. Uh, and, you know, working on life support systems for the astronauts. and teaching him walking in space and the things that he's done um, and Charlie always stayed the same. He was never ever got big headed or anything with his, and I call it, you know, his fame. People don't realize, people think that he had a job at NASA, but if you sit down and really talk to him and find out what he's done at NASA, that's when you get very, very impressed with what he's accomplished. Charlie has been with NASA for 30 plus years. He was with NASA as a physicist and was a part of all of the, the baby steps that NASA took in, you know, the things that he worked on, we now chalk up to history. We now, you know, we, we study via movies, he was there. Many high school students do not understand that science can not only be what Stephen Hawking and Albert Einstein do, but something a person can do as a career and actually make a life for themselves. And Charlie's an example of that. He makes physics very attainable. Many students are afraid of physics. They think it's really hard. Uh, they're, they're afraid of the content, so they shy away from it. And he can show you that physics is doable. For kids to be able to see just a regular guy, he wasn't some football star, he wasn't any of those things. He went to school, he loved to study and loved to learn. And because he did that, then, you know, uh, works at NASA, which is awesome.